Often people speak about avenging spirits of the dead, and depending on people's traditions and beliefs, ceremonies are often held to appease such. So could this be the case with the murdered Mufakosu boy? The following report we give you more. In early December last year, young Emmanuel Mawuka was murdered. The suspect, Thomas Nyamunga, the mother's boyfriend, was arrested. It's been weeks since the burial of the boy, and on Saturday, the family held a memorial service. The grandmother, Ethel Gandaja, then claimed Emmanuel was now an avenging spirit. <laughs> Strange as it sounds, some testify it's an occurrence experienced by many. She said the death of the boy had also deprived the family of further extending their bloodline. On the day of the murder, the alleged jilted lover arrived at Emmanuel's home when the mother was away. It is claimed he was suspecting his lover was leaving her for someone else. He then murdered Emmanuel in cold blood while the other sibling escaped with a wound. I'm, I'm painful, sorry. Ngoba into aba espez wayo. Ukuthi khona inyembe ziyageleza namhlanje silandela indaba yomntwana Emmanuel eh bamqume ikhanda. Prince Mutandi, a board member of Zinata said at this point the aggravated family needs to be compensated according to the African customs. Avenging spirits are most feared and mysterious spiritual manifestations among African people. History is littered with many of such stories. December was a dark month for the Mauka family. The mother was left with an eternal wound. The Nyamunga family was left without a father. But all that could be just the beginning of a big nightmare. If Emmanuel's grandmother's avenging spirit claims are anything to go by. For ZTN Prime, I'm Fatima Karuweni in Harare. Konapo Konapo, Ipapo Ipapo pa ZTN Prime, DSTV Channel 294, the place to be.